Ah yes, Resident Evil, such a wonderful video game franchise, one of the best in my opinion, and in fact, Albert Wesker being one of the best villains, it's not like anybody's going to screw that up, right? Oh god, it's like Albert Wesker met The Bachelor. <laughs> Hey, what is going on everybody? How are you all doing today? I hope you all are having a wonderful and fantastic day today, and if not, hopefully you all will have a better tomorrow. You know, Resident Evil is known as a horror survivor game. A lot of fun. Many people love it, myself included. And, you know, it's always come with great characters like Leon Kennedy, you know, Claire Redfield, Chris Redfield, Ada Wong. Uh, and, and recently, Ethan Winters. I actually like his character. I, I thought he was good. Um, you have plenty of good characters. Uh, Jill Valentine, you know. And you have some excellent villains as well, like Nemesis, for example. Mr. X. And the best one, in my opinion, you know, Albert Wesker. But, you know, while you have these iconic characters that anybody could remember, because they're such great characters in the world of Resident Evil, the franchise... You know, you had your movies that, yeah, the live-action ones were not, they weren't great. They were not good. <laughs> there was a lot of issues with them. Uh, and then, of course, you had, like, some of the animated films. Now, they were pretty good. They did expand upon characters like Leon and Claire, uh, which I really did like. Uh, you know, so they, they did add to that, which was great. Um, and these are characters that people love and enjoy. But now, there's this, and... God, this looks like a complete and entire abomination. Uh, because Resident Evil Netflix live action series sets Lance Rhetoric as Albert Wesker adds five more to the cast. Oh God, this looks like a complete and total disaster. Uh, now, last year, I don't know, some of you may remember, I had a video that was actually about this. It was about a supposed leaked synopsis for the Resident Evil Netflix live action show. And it was basically talking about how it was one big drama rather than a horror survival action show that it should be, right? And it just sounded like something absolutely catastrophically terrible. And it seems that this is the first look and maybe that synopsis was real. Because it seems like this is exactly what it was. So let's take a look at this article, let's read this. The Resident Evil live action series at Netflix has set its main cast with Lance Redrick, set to star as Albert Wesker. Along with Redrick, the series will also star Ella uh, Balinska, uh, Tanara Smart, Sienna Adong, Adeline Rudolph, and Helena Nunez. Uh, I probably butchered some of those names, I apologize, but I have no idea who any of them are. Details on which characters the others will be playing are being kept under wraps. Yeah, that worries me. <laughs> that, that, that worries me a bit. Oh, God. Like, okay, so let me put it like this. First off, Lance Redrick. I have nothing against him as an actor. I mean, I think he's good. I think he's a very good actor. Uh, I liked him in John Wick. He was very good. Um, and, you know, to me, he is an excellent actor. Uh, I think he really flourished in John Wick as, as a good actor to me. Um you know, so I haven't had any problems with him, but he is no Albert Wesker. Um, the thing is, is that Albert Wesker, uh, he is a white guy. Uh, what they're basically doing here with this is they looked at Resident Evil and they were like, do we care about this series? Do we really? Nah. What check boxes can we fill for this? <laughs> you know, that's, that's what they did. Uh, rather than trying to tell a good story, you know. They decided to change Albert Wesker from who he was. Lance Reddick, uh, what they could have done with this character. Um, they could have created a brand new one, which would have been fine. And they could have just implemented that in the Resident Evil universe. Fine. Nothing would have been wrong with that if he was a brand new character, right? But they're taking established characters, which we've seen multiple times over, and they're changing them. And in this case, race swapping Albert Wesker. Because, you know, it's about critical race theory, white man bad. You know, it's about... You know, getting rid of and erasing the white characters is what it's about. It's not about diversity like they're trying to make it seem like. Uh, and then, of course, you know, it just looks like Resident Evil meets The Bachelor. Like, Albert Wesker, which woman's he gonna get with? Like, this looks awful. This looks like something the CW would come up with. This looks terrible. 
Uh, I don't know why they couldn't have just come up with a brand new character for Lance Reddick to play as, because they could have done that, um, clearly, uh, but they didn't. Uh, I don't know why they didn't do that, but they didn't. Now, this article by Bound to Get a Comics actually has a little bit of what Netflix was saying about it. You know, They explained a little bit, stating, Cut to the second timeline, well over a decade into the future. There are less than 15 million people left on Earth, and more than 6 billion monsters, people, and animals infected with the T-Virus. They added, Jade, now 30, struggles to survive in this new world while the secrets from her past about her sister, her father, and herself continue to haunt her. Oh, God. The series showrunner, executive producer, and writer, Andrew Dabb, stated, Resident Evil is one of my favorite games of all time. Oh, God, really? Uh, I, I don't believe this. <laughs> Cut the bullshit, because I don't believe that for five seconds. I don't believe that. If that was true, then this would seem a lot different than uh, what we're getting. Because I don't believe this. I really don't. I don't believe they really think about the property. I don't think that they care. I'm incredibly excited to tell a new chapter in this amazing story and bring the first Resident Evil series to Netflix members around the world. For every type of Resident Evil fan, including those joining us for the first time, the series will be complete with a lot of old friends and some things, bloodthirsty, insane things people have never seen before. You know, I'll tell you, it's going to be a horror show. But not in the horror you would think. Not in the Resident Evil horror. No, 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 no. The horror of this show being terrible. <laughs> That's the horror it's going to provide you, just because it looks like it's going to be so bad. And I doubt that this person's a fan. I bet they're just claiming to be. You know, like I said, with the whole, you know, Kevin Smith, uh, you know, issue with, with that and He-Man. You know, um, people that work on this stuff don't have to be fans of it. But if they don't try to actually, you know, study what they are actually making a show off of, they don't understand it. And then they tried to put in all this woke bullshit. Nobody cares. The actual fans are going to be like, no, I'm turned off to this. I don't want it. You know, they should be trying to pique your interest as the fan. That's what these companies should be doing. You know, if they want to earn your dollar, then they should be doing what they can to get your interest. This, to me, uh, when I look at it, uh, as a fan of Resident Evil, I can tell you myself, I have no interest in this. I, I don't care anything for this at all um i think that this is terrible uh personally it, it doesn't it, like i said this does not look interesting to me like i said it, to me it looks just like it is resident evil meets the bachelor or some terrible cw teen drama <laughs> this doesn't look like resident evil to me uh it, it's so bad oh uh, you know they should be trying to, you know, entice you into wanting to watch this. As a Resident Evil fan, when I look at this, I just think, oh god, this is a shit show getting ready to begin, you know, and it just does not pique my interest at all. I think that this is a terrible idea. Um, you know, does it mean that it shouldn't exist? No, but, oh god, you know, this is not Resident Evil to me. Like, you know, oh, this is horrible. And of course, leave it to them to want to check off as many check boxes as they can, uh, you know, and get as woke as they can, because that's Netflix for you. That's what they do. That's what these big companies do. And they don't care about the properties they make shows based off of. But anyways, let me know what you think about this entire situation down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And make sure you were still subscribed because YouTube is unsubscribing people from all their favorite channels. So make sure you were still subscribed to all your favorite channels. Hit the video with a like and also be sure to share the video on social media. Spread the word and get it out there. It's greatly appreciated and it really helps out the channel a lot. Also, be sure to follow me on both Discord and Minds. We have a wonderful community there. Not only that, but it will keep you up to date on when the newest videos will be released as well as any other upcoming events in the near future so be sure to follow me on both discord and mines the links are in the description down below but anyways i hope you all have yourselves a wonderful and fantastic day today and remember if today was not a good day tomorrow could always be better take care of yourselves and everyone around you and have yourselves a good one out there everybody